So medieval Oxford students had a wide reputation for misbehaviour, some of which was brutal and bloody, some of which was extremely quirky and humorous. So the university itself was keen to articulate its role as um, a keeper of peace. And in 1429, they wrote, we work to assure peace and tranquility, and neither we nor any of our members disturb our neighboring townspeople or foreigners, but our whole university thrives in the beauty of peace for studying. Well, that might have been the goal, but plenty of students get up to lots of naughty things. We have evidence from Merton College about a student being expelled for, amongst other things, playing tennis in public, which was deemed extremely shocking. Several students were disciplined for calling their masters tu autem, which is sort of the informal version of you in Latin. It's like saying, hey, you, to your tutor rather than... Um, yes, sir. We have evidence about humorous, but also quite brutal inception ceremonies um, for students when they started university, kind of like hazing ceremonies. So in New College, we know that freshers were sometimes subjected to a weird ritual where imaginary beards would be shaved off them, given they're only about 14 at the time. One can imagine that would be pretty distressing. And sometimes student misbehaviour was really theatrical. It's a sense that they put in a lot of effort and took a lot of time to organising the props and setting everything up and even dressing up. So in 1417, a group of students decide to march off to Ifley village. There's a dispute over some land there. Um, and they dress themselves up in full suits of armour. We learn from the documents that they were armed with breastplates, pairs of palted gloves, van braces, rarer braces, pricking pallets with three ostrich feathers, lance gaze and a Carlisle axe. So there's a real sense of spectacle of these students giggling and jostling their way towards Ifley village with these magnificent costumes. 